<laughs> yeah, are you? Well, oh, you ain't too used to it. Ain't no Hennessy back that some bitch. Yeah. Is there Hennessy? Yeah. Can I get a Hennessy on the rocks, please? I'm scared to ass. Shit. <laughs> you ain't too often. You see wood paneling and drop ceilings and Hennessy together. That normally don't happen. That's a cold word. The brothers ain't allowed to be in here. All right. Wait. I, I run him off. How did that happen? <laughs> I run the guest off. I don't know. He ain't been all show. <laughs> I come up and he's like, maybe I, all right. Let's give a round of applause to all the other uh, comedians that you that you heard. Did you enjoy them? Did you enjoy them? Yeah, all right. Looks like you might be bullish a little bit. <laughs> thank you, thank you. You do have Hennessy. Oh, in the glass. That is all right. You know, please. Okay, all right. Hey, why do y'all have so much uh, snow? Wasn't it like 80 degrees? <laughs> what y'all had all this snow out here for? They like dumping dating snow. Uh-oh. Let's see. Hold on. You all right? How are you? Welcome. Uh, no, I say you just got, I welcomed you. You can't welcome me after I welcome you. That's not, you can welcome me to a place you just got to? How do you do that? Do you own it? No. Ain't you just supposed to say thank you? You ain't used to that, are you? Just been, welcome. What's your name? I mean, you were talking when you came in, so I thought you wanted some attention when you came in, so I didn't know. No? You don't want to talk to me? You just get, I get a short, a short lease. I've already blew that. You can tell the ones that are cute. You can tell that. They don't put any more in there from the regular stuff. I deserve that. I'm not putting up with that shit. Just because I want to. I understand. How, is everybody doing doing okay? We're here for the, the benefit, and, and the, it, it, maybe he's in the back or something. So this is great. I'm, I'm uh, up here from Cincinnati and they asked me if I wanted to come up uh, for this. So I, I want to make sure I come up and say what's up and, and be here for this. This is a great, this is a great thing. I love this. Uh, there's no joke there. I really appreciate you guys reaching out to, uh, to you know, and you, as a community pulling together you know, for this. So that was great. They asked me and I'd love to, uh, to come up. So I have a little story a little later on in the bit. And then, are you recording? You can't record. Oh, okay. Record. <laughs> What's wrong with him? Damn. I can pull his dick out. It's on YouTube. Like, whoa. Like, I ain't pulling my dick out. Yeah, look, there's a baby right here. Mm. Where's that lady that had the baby in the back? Was get up the, the hand out of the purse. Move the purse, ma'am. Who was that? It was over here. Where was it? Is it still there? She took off? Yeah. She said the baby was in the purse. And she's like, I think he's in mama's purse. I just moved the purse. He's two. Ain't he just moved the purse? <laughs> I thought that baby was going to die tonight. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm a man for the football. What's up, brother? All right. Huh? And you said you played in the pro. What did you? I'm semi-pro. Okay. I ain't make it to the big league. Now. I ain't never get a check. I paid to play. Big difference. Big difference. Well, I know. I was wondering because you, what, 5'2", 5'3"? 5'9". You're probably in three quarters. No, I, don't, I don't need a tape. I don't believe you. I don't, I don't need a tape. I think I see the problem. You seem like you aggressive. That's for damn sure. You aggressive as shit. You. Listen, I don't need to put pants on. This is about. No, you ain't got to show me. I'm just trying to see how hot tall you are. You can, you can beat. It. Listen, you can beat the shit out of nursery school kids. That don't matter. You can fight an adult. I'm asking how tall you are. What's the question goes to? Only the reason why I know you're an adult because you got that big. Amish beard, <laughs> right? That's it. So no, I'm just, you know, you seem like you're aggressive. I ain't gonna mess with you. The whole, um, you, why are you aggressive? Because I can't. No, because it's that height. You tired of being fucked with you. That's what you're I ain't about to let no six foot five dude talk about my height. I almost went to the front. You might be six five. You might be six two. Six five. You can't get your inches now, bro. Listen, bro. The problem is you too short. You don't know how the fuck tall I am. At this point, you might think I'm touching the top of the building. Just to be like, oh, he is not the bad as a Good, right? Yeah, I didn't know. I wish I had his height. Oh, I so wish I had his height. I was so wish he got height. And his balls hang pretty low. <laughs> I in my face. Okay. Well, raffle tickets, raffle tickets. Raffle tickets. $5 for seven tickets and a dollar for the ticket. Huh? See, I'm trying to help. What's your name, bro? My name's Jay. Jay, all right, bro. I just wanted to try to help you out. Whose scarf is this on the bank, on the thing? What is this about? It seemed like some. Um... Long story. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm do that. Look, I'm not bullshitting around. You tell me hand sanitizer. Listen, if y'all got hand sanitizer, I'm going to trust you. Yeah, like, like, uh, wait, 
Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> How y'all have a big ass jug of hand sanitizer that don't work? <laughs> what is the point? You just trying to impress people with pictures? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. He said he knew a black guy was coming in here. He was bringing the hand sanitizer out. Black dude in here, we need hand sanitizer, but it don't work. Listen, it's a black dude in here bringing out the goddamn hand sanitizer. I got respect. Where he has some ribs and chitlins up in this spot. We don't have. All right. That's what I'm gonna take your word for. You and I are gonna be on the right side. And first of all, everybody, fuck cancer. Say it. Fuck cancer. Fuck cancer. Fuck cancer. Cancer. Why are y'all acting shocked? Fuck. We don't. We're fighting cancer, right? Yes, we are. You know, I fuck cancer. Cancer ain't shit. Fuck cancer. Fuck cancer. This stuff right here helps us, and then we donate, and they find cures and whatever. So fuck cancer. Cancer. My father had prostate cancer. Fuck cancer. Fuck cancer. I know a cousin just passed away with breast cancer. Fuck cancer. Thank you. I a lot of cancer. Bitch, bitch. Fuck cancer. Whatever. So defeat cancer. Is that the nice thing to say? This seems like a nice Christian crowd. Y'all don't want me saying fuck cancer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to mess up any of this Christian vibe or whatever. It's too late. I've already messed it up. I told y'all, listen, they said, I said, listen, get them children out of here before I get up on stage. <laughs> get them out of here before I get up on stage. I don't want to, mm -mm. Tell them, yeah. So, anyway. You guys watching the Olympics at all? No. <laughs> Summer Olympics, you do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't really like it. I tell you what I like about the Olympics is the, uh, the special interest stories. Because I can't really get into sports figures. Anyway. But they, uh, I think this one they had, uh, the, uh, there was complaining. Like Russia didn't have, they weren't prepared or something. They just like the hotels and whatever. And I was, this is what upset me. Well, not upset me, it was confusing. That you had people was complaining about, like Americans complaining about Russia while they were still... <laughs> in Russia. Like, did nobody see Hunt for Red October or Rocky IV or none of that shit? Just, we gonna, you ain't gonna put a whole bunch of shit past them Russians. They, sooner or later, somebody gonna be made an example of them. Just, you know, we're in Sochi, Russia, and the water is deplorable. Oh, God. Oh, shit. They shot me, guys. I'm dead. They don't like the problems in Russia. They want the, uh, I think the, with the, the Olympics, what they're trying to do is they refurbish their, their image, right, for the national community, that's the whole, so they don't want any problems in Russia. Did you know they killed, like, all the dogs? Did you hear that? Like, they had a stray dog problem? Yeah. Round of applause if you heard that, that Russia had a stray dog problem and they just exterminated the dog. And here's the thing, they, they surprised people are upset that the dogs are dead. They were like, we're, we're, what do you mean, the dogs are dead and the people are working? Yeah, you can't kill dogs, man, what do you mean? <laughs> well, so we don't sell the dog coats yet? Did we not do the dog coats? <laughs> yeah, get 2,000 dogs. 2,000 dogs. I think about it before I went to the hotel and, uh, and complained at the hotel. I wouldn't do that. I, would, I don't think I would go down there. I would just eat the problem before I go down to the hotel and say, excuse me, I don't have no toilet in my room. He'd be like, wait a minute, you don't have a toilet in your room? You got a problem? He'd say, yeah, I got a problem. He'd say, all right, hold on. Let me fix this problem first. I'll fix your problem. There's a dog walking across the lot. Hold on. <laughs> okay, no more problem over there. What's your problem? No, we don't. <laughs> I don't want a problem. You don't want a refund? No, I was saying we we have.